I'm Susie Hart, and this is Susie's studio. This is Emily Randall, and she is a, a dance instructor here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are today going to talk about uh, lower back exercises, and also particularly preventing problems of low doses, which is where our hips are slightly tilted back. We want to find a way to correct that mm -hmm. and to make sure that everything is moving the way it should. So uh, first I want to just talk a little bit about what proper alignment is here for our hips. I'm not going to do this so you can see my knees. Um, and uh, if we go from side to side, I can see I have this tendency anyway to be slightly, see this mm -hmm. slight sway in my back. Yeah. If I just really relax, it goes kind of like this. Right. Now, there's a few problems with that. What's happening is I have a little bit of collapsing. Uh, so this kind of goes back, but also you can see what happens with my feet and knees when that happens is that my knees uh, oh, yeah. rotate inward. Hmm. See, if I collapse this back, oh. my uh, upper legs rotate in, and since I also tend to have fallen arches, they go in, and we end up with a problem that my knees are not necessarily uh, tracking in the way that they should. Uh, but also this problem is um, that we tend to start using the upper part of our legs and ignore all these very strong muscles in the back that can help us for everything we do. Mm. So, and, and this is common among women and also um, exacerbated again by these tight hip flexors that we yeah. get from sitting a lot. Right. So we're going to talk about a few things to do to overcome that tendency and get our bodies in proper alignment. Yes. So, first thing we're going to do is our hip flexor exercise, which we did in, also in another video. Uh, we're basically going to be trying to lengthen these muscles right here. They're rather short muscles, but they're quite tough, uh, tight mm. um, and tough. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a kind of lunge here. Now, what I want to do is actually do this lunge against a wall or a chair or a table. Just be sure that the chair won't slide a lot. You don't yes, want that's right. Don't want to split back to memory. That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So I want to make sure that my hips are square. And I'm going to lean into this um, chair on this side. I'm going to lean into this chair so that um, this muscle is being elongated. Mm -hmm. And I like to use a chair so that um, there's no pressure on this knee at all. And you can, or you can put, do this up on a, a wall like this too. Mm -hmm. um, and the other big thing is that you want to make sure that while you're doing this, see that I don't allow this to arch back. Yeah. I'm really lengthening this, so maybe I can't go in as far. So, yeah, and I think so, engaging the abs kind of does that, right? Yes, exactly. You could engage. When you think about having no ab strength, it's like, ah, oh, and you just end up leaning into it. But then when you kind of tighten them, that tilts in, right? And exactly, like, exactly. Super. And you can elongate this. So you can see now Emily has a straight line right here. Mm -hmm. And this is also straight. I mean, it's always a natural, um, you know, curve in your lower back. Mm -hmm. But on these kind of exercises, I almost try to minimize that, so almost yeah. lengthen it out so that it's a little bit yeah, flatter so than what normal is, yes. just so you can really stretch this. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you can do is kind of tighten your uh, that your bum back there <laughs> to kind of uh, pull that together, and you'll feel even a greater stretch. Yeah. So this oh. stretch you want to do, yeah, you can feel it, right? <laughs> yeah, um, this one you want to do about 20 seconds on your right, 20 seconds on your left, like so you do three sets. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do this throughout the day or do it, um, you know, whenever you have time. Yeah. So now the next thing we want to do is a bridge exercise. Here on. Okay, so here I am down on the ground. Uh, here are my hip flexors that we've been talking about. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push with my heels to push them straight up to the ceiling. Now as I do this, I want to think about again elongating my lower back and push these up as high as I can. Now again, I'm trying to think about stretching these and pushing this. Now if you want to, you can kind of combine this training exercise with uh, one that strengthens our VMOs from one of the previous uh, exercises by putting like a little block here. Mm. And then you can, uh, or a little pillow or something, then when you go up, you could actually be engaging your VMOs at the same time. Um, but just right now, if we're just talking about 
hip flexors. We're gonna do this, we need to go up for one, two, three, maybe 10 seconds, and then go slowly down. As I go down, I'm gonna kind of uh, curve down my back like one vertebrae at a time. Yeah, I'll go all the way down. Now as I go up, I can do the same thing. I can kind of curl from the bottom to go up. So I'm gonna feel that my glutes are working quite a bit here to do that. And that's fine because those of us who have this tendency will tend to have kind of weak muscles back here. So this sort of is a two in one. We are lengthening these muscles while strengthening the muscles behind us. So that's basically it. And now Emily can try. Okay. So where do I want my feet exactly? So you want your feet just right uh, parallel to your hips. Yes, okay. so that's great. Okay. Just where, where they are, want to be comfortably is fine. Okay, so now okay. I'm going to give you a block. Okay. Now as, go ahead and go up. Mm -hmm. As you go up, I want you to think that, uh, put your awareness in your lower back here. Mm -hmm. So I want to, actually I think I'd like you to go a little bit less far. Okay so that this is elongated as much as possible. Mm, okay. And maybe you squeeze your butt, you'll feel like you're squeezing your butt a little bit more, but it's not, it's not allowed to, to, cur to yeah. curve at all. Right. Because it is easier, you can do this, but have the stretch actually in your lower, I mean, your lower back. Mm -hmm. So if you can, I'm gonna put my hand underneath you okay. and just feel that. First of all, actually before you do this, yeah. I want you to elongate it as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. Now, as you roll up, roll up from the bottom vertebrae first. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So she's kind of curving her belly button down. There we go. So now that's long, and that tailbone is going to stay. Yeah. So you may not be able to get all the way. It's fine. Because mm -hmm. I feel like just at the end, mm -hmm. your back went like that. Okay. Yeah. So I want I, the most important thing is that this back, that lower back, is going to stay straight. Okay. So we're maximizing the amount that these can be elongated while that lower back stays straight. There we go. So your tailbone, it'll feel like your tailbone's pointing straight like that. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't go up as far, right? Right. But that's okay. Yeah. But what you where you should start feeling it is really like in your glutes, like right between your... Yeah. Oh, you'll feel and that more. The, like squeezing the squeezing block, the I block. definitely feel many of those there. It's like... Yeah, okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So it, and that, so it actually should be a little bit harder than your first version. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. So do, let's do that one more time. You're going to roll up from the bottom. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So you're resisting the, there's a tendency because it's so easy. Our, our lower backs are so flexible. So it's so easy to just bend it. So then your hips will come up, but we don't want right. that. Right, yeah. And even if they're, even they're, if they're just, it's still curved a little bit like this, your back, what, what we're resist, we, we want to be stretching those two mm -hmm. hip flexors. And we want to train that lower back to stay nice and long so we right. never put any pressure on the, the oh, lower that back. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah I just said you're a good, <laughs> good model. Now, as you go down, go ahead oh, and go okay. down again. Okay. Because now we're gonna, we can work all these muscles. I'm making you do all the work here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so now, as you roll down, I want you to do the reverse. So you're gonna do the vertebrae up here, gradually rolling down to the, the bottom. Yeah. That'll make all these oh. various muscles work. Yeah. You feel the muscles working? <laughs> yeah. Excellent, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay. okay. So any other questions on that? I think that was, are you supposed okay. to really clench your glutes? You just, I mean, just you, don't want, you don't want to spaz anything out. Yeah. Right? But I feel like I'm actively pushing down with my heels, uh -huh. which is engaging everything. Okay. But I do feel like there's some energy flow. So I'm not just going like this with my glutes yeah. as a separate muscle, right. but I feel like I'm pushing my heels down to the ground mm -hmm. that then in, is kind of Gaze. pushing like energy all the way right to push that up. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do our ab series now. Uh, so um, you can, well, well, we could watch this in a separate video. <laughs> We're going to do our ab series now. Uh, so um, you can, well, well, we could watch this in a separate video.